I hear it every day. I see it with my own eyes. Schools, police forces, even Taco Bell. People aren't coming to work. They don't want to work. They, don't, they feel they don't have to. Life isn't free. And yet you've got this incredible amount of creative energy inside your spirit that's just sitting there. Creativity isn't free either because eventually it begins to bite you. Eventually it begins to rip you apart and you're going to do everything humanly possible to rip it from your system, but you can't because it's connected to you. Every bit of you. Creativity. You got to give it a source of energy so that the outsource can help other people around you. Don't make it about you whatsoever. Please get back to work. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I got to be honest with you. I, I have no idea what I'm writing, why I'm writing, or where the writing is going to grow. I just know that my daily discipline is to show up in this writing space and to allow what is in the moment of now to become the spirit of what is going to become the now. I I don't know why I write the way that I do, but I'm going to be very honest with you. Uh, It got to the point when I was in terrestrial radio where they asked me, please don't send an email to anybody. And I said, why? And, And they would say, because people don't understand what you're saying. What? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I write every day. I, I grip the idea that, that I'm a little different, but they don't understand what I'm writing. No, there, there are people that have come to us and they say, he's weird. I, I can't figure out what he's saying. So talk about dumbing things down. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like I had to make things so simple. And yet even when I've done it in a simple way, people don't understand. I'm going to give you a good example. This is the example. This is what was falling from my writing instrument this morning. The light in my writing space always creates shadows on this page. My imagination seems to be influenced by it today, like that of having proof of there being a presence. The shadow cannot be if I am not here. The left hand reaches outward to touch the shadow, to feel if there's a texture. But of course, it doesn't have it. Its shape is only a silhouette. There are no muscles to grip the writing instrument, then shove ink into the veins of the giving tree, which makes me believe that a shadow is a follower. And yet, when laid against this page, it's the shadow that I see first. Is the message, this new sun, to pull back in the assumed view, to fall witness to the greater source and not the echoed influence? A shadow with its thin layer of darkness isn't the truer voice of the writer. (laughs) <laughs> send that in an email <laughs> I love to write writing is like wow to me and 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 you know it, th- there was a time where where because I did dumb down a lot of things uh, that that I, I finally said I can't do that and the reason why is because in Mark Twain's 100 year anniversary autobiography uh, he clearly stated and it really stuck to my gut he, he he said don't ever lose your accent and you know what that said to me don't ever stop being you in fact my my the last book I wrote which which is um it, it's called scrambled eggs. The way I describe it, it's 54 pieces of poetry that happen to tell a story. But you're going to have to be dedicated and loyal as a reader to go through each one of those pieces of poetry to hear it. And the more important important thing is, is that that's when you Google me and you go and you listen to the songs that were written while putting that book together. There's a reason why that whole entire journey took two and a half, three years to do. It's because while I was writing a book, I happened to be writing music too. And it's like, what happened here? Oh my God. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mass, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I write junk like that. I saw the shadow on the page and I decided I'm going to write about that shadow. The light in my writing space always creates shadows on this page. My imagination seems to be influenced by it today, like that of having proof of there being a presence. (laughs) The insanity that comes with being a writer. This is The Daily Mess. My favorite conversations with people of fame are those that dig into their truer experience of what it's like to be a creative person. 
uh, being creative is not a religion. It's, it's not a disease. We're all born to be creatives. And what makes it great is that we don't have to be the same. Creatives are inspired by other creatives. Poets of the past still have impact. Eddie Van Halen is always going to be present in everything music. Writers are readers. I got into radio because I needed a live stage, a display of sight and sound influenced heavily by John Denver and Kiss, which sounds like an odd mix, doesn't it? Getting to know the story of the creative. We've all got something to sell, but there comes a time when sharing is the greater opportunity. I'm more moved to buy into the idea when I'm familiar with the presence of building the success. Being creative is more than just a gift. Talent has nothing to do with it. I don't like talent. I don't don't like to hear that. You already have the gift. All you have to do is shape it. Creatives connect generations, and they do so by creating conversations. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.